Hi guys, uh, so today I'm doing a video about um, online trolls, arguments, those types of things. Um, and so the video is surrounding uh, an experience I had, um, but it's also about, um, you know, changes and, and situations that we've probably all had. Um, okay, so I, I wrote it all down. <laughs> so I have a confession that led to a realization that led to change. I used to do this thing when I was sad, mad, bored, or even just lonely, where I would have a go at people online. I would purposely look for arguments and then include myself. It never really made me feel better. It was a strategy for what I was feeling at the time. Often I didn't feel like I belonged in this world of ours. Even though so many people told me they loved me, I didn't feel it. The people I taunted or even name called didn't see that hurt person. They saw someone attacking them. They saw a grenade. When in actual fact, I was a wounded soldier uh, who had her share of grenades thrown at her. You see, life had thrown its fair share of tragedies at me and I had taken them. Sometimes I ran towards the fire. Sometimes I hid in the rubble for days. Although whichever strategy I used, I was still wounded. My pride and ego were running the ship when I was looking for people to tell they were wrong, with the aim to prove I was right. Therefore, I mattered and had some meaning in a world I felt like had forgotten about me. It's easy to stand out when you're being mean, which was my solution to being seen. There was one comment section that changed it all for me though. I had found it too easy to hurt people online. It actually didn't make me feel accomplished or even like a winner anymore. I felt like a bully. Even though I usually picked on the ones bullying others, I decided to change it up. I would go for the harder road, the one where I tried to heal, not damage the wounds of others. So I went searching for people online who seemed angry, sad, depressed, or lonely, just like I had been. And I tried to connect with them. I tried to get some true emotions out and I tried to be the difference to help them see why they were hurting or even attempt a chance at healing. I had some great conversations and with everyone I spoke to, I never really knew what change I had created or if they really connected to me or even listened. But then there was this guy who became my next target for positive change, an artist. The conversation started with him name calling after I was talking about some sociological and cultural factors on a subject, on a thread. <laughs> so. The guy name called, right? And I thought, okay, I can't get him to, to bite. He wouldn't bite. So I, so I poked him a little bit. I said, oh, I see how uh, educated you are because he kept saying the same insult. Uh, and uh, he, he, he bit, I guess. So he, he mentioned that he was attending university for um, a major in, in arts. And I thought, oh, interesting. Okay, so I, I had that information and I thought now I can actually try and find out why he's so angry, why he feels, you know, so so much need to come onto the internet and, and swear at people, you know, <laughs> and tear people down. Um, and uh, so he, he also mentioned, oh, don't worry, people call me an asshole in, in real life too. And I was like, ah, oh, interesting. And I said, oh, okay, so you must need to connect to people if you, uh, you know, want to be an artist, right? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I've got him, I've got him, you know? Uh, and it doesn't always go like this, you know? But so he ended up opening up to me and I said, uh, you know, do you need some help in trying to connect to people? Uh, I can help you. <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> so he told me that he was a cartoonist. And I, and I started with, you know, what type of artwork do you do? Um, you've got to look at your audience. Like, who's your audience? Um, if your audience, uh, you know, if you're drawing flowers, well, then your audience is probably female. You know, what type of flowers? Is it from a specific culture, genre, age group? You know, I mean, it's always a really good thing when you're trying to connect to someone or help them with... Uh, finding you know a more simplified road to go down when it, everything seems quite quite confusing and fuzzy which can make people obviously lash out <laughs> so 
to, to simplify it, to give them some facts, to give them somewhere to start. I'm like, research the type of cartoons you do and find out what audience that is. Then you can find out, you know, how to connect with those people. And uh, he, I made a breakthrough, you know? <laughs> he was vulnerable with me and he listened. He took my feedback on board, he thanked me. It was amazing and I realized that that was the first conversation I actually found out that I helped someone. The others, they, you know, they didn't say thanks but they weren't as mad once I'd finished, you know, talking to them. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, oh wait, what, okay, yep. I, I've got a bunch of information that I've just gone through. Uh, so I left that conversation realizing we all have a chance to connect with others and not tear them down. The emotion that person is expressing is just a strategy at getting their needs met. It's also a learned behavior. Hurt people hurt people. That is what I tell my daughter most days and she knows why I say it. She's seen it with her own eyes and so have you. Everyone who's watching this can relate to feeling lost, angry or even sad. They can relate to feeling something intense and acting in a way that has hurt someone else. Sometimes it's intentional and sometimes it's not. But it's not about why we are doing it. It's not about what we are doing, it's about why. Because in the end, the why is all that matters, if anything is to change. I also had uh, an instance where it was a, a gentleman who commented really negatively on one of my videos and he was attacking me. And there was this point where you can continue matching their behavior, right? You can continue attacking them back or you can change the narrative. And this is what I did. <laughs> I, I was sitting there and I was, I was just like stuck in this. I was boiling, you know? I was like talking to everyone about this guy who obviously didn't even care about me, you know? And it was really affecting me because he was, he was tearing me down. He was saying I was a terrible person and I, I was not supportive and I was hurting people, you know, with offering different information. And, uh, and it was really upsetting me. And then I had to stop and think, why would he have said that? He is obviously hurting. He's had someone who hasn't helped him. You know, he's been in a position where he's felt isolated. Um, and he's at a point now where he's lashing out. Uh, so I stopped and I said, okay, so, you know, what's happened for you to be like this? And he wouldn't talk, he kept attacking, kept attacking. And eventually he attacked enough that he was vulnerable enough to share enough information uh, that I found his weakness. And I don't mean that in a good way. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I spoke to him about it and he stopped replying. <laughs> I private messaged him and I said, I hope we can work this out. You know, um, I'm really sorry if I've touched a nerve. I actually do agree with a lot of the things you said, but I do feel like, you know, there's, there's some things that we can address together. Um, he didn't respond. But the thing is, I never would have gotten that response and, and the closure myself if I had have continued down the same path. Sometimes we need to understand that emotions are coming from somewhere. Uh, it doesn't matter who it is in your life, if it's someone online, if it's, you know, a family member, whatever it is. Uh, everybody has been a victim at some point in time. Not to say that we should feel sorry for people if they're being nasty to us, but understanding is the difference between us being angry and it affecting our day or our week or our life or even taking it on board and saying, wow, that person thinks I'm a piece of crap. I must be, <laughs> you know, um... If they think you're a piece of crap, that's their right. It, you don't have to do anything to change it, you know? Um, but you can try and find out, you know, why they are um, attacking. Um, and if anything, all it gives you is closure. You don't necessarily have to help them, but it might help them. Because when someone is attacking and you show them kindness, wow, <laughs> you know, it's really different. And it, I've had it happen to me and it's left me going, huh, oh my goodness. It's one of the reasons why I stopped trolling people because I had a whole bunch of people message me and I'm still friends with some of them now and they were so nice to me and I thought, do you know what? Uh, 
this is not something that feels nice to me. It's against my character. It feels wrong and I'm going to stop it. And I did. <laughs> and, and now I try to reach out to people uh, to educate them or to try and find out what's going on for them because I think that everyone deep down just wants someone who's going to accept them and to be heard, you know. Um, and that is why I want to do this video. I just wanted to share one of my dark secrets, one of the bad behaviors that I used to act out and um, hopefully it helps you guys to understand why people do things. And maybe if you're in an argument, try to understand where they're coming from, why they're acting like that and not take it on board. Okay, uh, have fun this week guys. Um, uh, it's everyone's back to school soon, so that's really exciting. Everyone's been busy, I'm sure. Um, and any new opportunities, awesome. New year. We've got so much ahead of us. All right. Bye, guys.